The charred shells of homes stand witness to the night of fear residents of Khalat al Dabr lived through. A group of Israeli settlers attacked the small community in the southern Hebron hills and wreaked havoc. Panicked, some people pleaded for help on social media. Firefighters tried to help, but they too came under attack. This community is one of 12 in the area under threat of complete erasure. They've been fending off settler attacks and home demolitions by the Israeli army for years. Settlers stole the sheep all under the protection of the army that allows them to do what they want to uproot us. In the village of Birin, also in the Hebron area, Israeli forces bulldozed seven homes, leaving nearly 40 people with nowhere to go. The head of the village told us residents have been fighting demolition orders for years. Two of the homes raised on Thursday were not even slated for demolition. During its war on Gaza, the Israeli government accelerated existing plans to appropriate Palestinian land, authorize illegal settler outposts and expand existing settlements. It's May 2024, the year of the largest Israeli land grab in over three decades. Settlers used to be a lobby group to, to put pressures on the government. Now they are the government. World leaders have repeatedly warned the annexation of the occupied West Bank is a red line Israel must not cross. The reality on the ground tells a different story. Nur Al Jazeera, Ramallah, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.